Today we're gonna be going over the new vault room. So this is the vault room and uh, I'm so excited about this because this has been something I have been planning for about two years now. Uh, and it's honestly way cooler than I ever expected it to be. You can do all the planning in the world, but until it is actually here, you really can't imagine how awesome it's gonna be. So this has been a dream come true for me, a truly a blessing uh, for me, the page and the business, just because uh, when I designed this room, I made it to be a one room for everything. One room for all my equipment, one room for all the firearms, one room for uh, the business side where I can uh, do work on the laptop and do emails and, and Excels and all that other crap. Uh, but it's really nice to be able to have one area for everything because I've never had a place for all of my firearms. This is actually the first time all of my guns have been in one spot, uh, which is cool because I can actually see what I have uh, and be able to organize and plan and it's just a lot easier this way. Uh, it's gonna make things work a lot smoother for me on my end. So this room is only about halfway done. I still got a lot of things to finish, but I was just so excited. I really wanted to give you guys an update and show you where things were at. I'm sure in my last two videos, you saw the walls slowly getting built behind me. Uh, it's just taking a long time because the way the room is uh, reinforced in the walls, it makes it really difficult to uh, put these up. It just takes it, it's a lot longer basically because you have to go through things instead of uh, just drilling for the studs. Uh, it just makes it a little bit more difficult, but it's more secure this way, which is a good thing, and that is kind of the goal when building a room like this, uh, which we'll go over a little bit later on the details of, on the room and the structure and the design um, on what we decided. So the main goal when Kayla and I were designing the house and, and trying to prepare this room to be here was how big do we make it? Um, we, we first thought we're okay, we can make it fairly small, it just needs to hold the guns and a couple equipment, but then the more we planned, the more we thought, with things growing as they are, I decided that we should probably make it bigger. And what we didn't wanna do is make it way too big to where, okay, wow, we just have this wasted space in the house. But we also didn't wanna make it too small. But um, now that I'm in it, now that I'm putting stuff in, I think we made a really good sized room for absolutely everything. I'm able to fit the majority of my guns. Once I get the rest of the walls lining the, the other side, I'll really be able to put everything else up because I gotta get everything else from downstairs and out of those saves up here. And that was one of my biggest things when making this room was I started thinking I could buy uh, two to three safes at uh, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 a piece. Uh, and I was like, at that point, why don't I just get a safe door and build a room dedicated to everything? That way I don't have to worry about safes. I can just have everything climate controlled and secured in this one area. I can get camera systems so I can watch everything so I don't have to worry about all these different safes and combinations and everything. Everything's in one area. And that's where kind of this room was built and the design started. Uh, it's changed probably 40 times since the start of two years ago, uh, but it's now molded into what it is now. Uh, before we get too farther, I wanna give a big shout out and a huge thank you to uh, the sponsors, Hold Up Displays, for supplying all these amazing mounts. I'll go over more detail here in a little bit on those. Brownells, a uh, huge support of this company, the ones that actually supplied the uh, safe door. So big thank you to them and just all the projects and, and builds. They helped me with a lot of these behind me have been a uh, big help with Brownells. And then all the other companies that I've done work with, I really appreciate you all for making all this possible. And then of course, uh, you all, um, such a huge support to me and I appreciate that. And none of this is possible without you. So thank you so much for that. If you're new to the channel and you have have not already consider subscribing I'd love to have you here and I'd love to have you watch the the progress if you are subscribed already make sure you hit that notification bell um, and that is a big help as well so I can sit here and ramble all day about this room but let me just give you a really quick tour and an idea of what this room is gonna look like when it's finished and where we are at right now so start from the outside uh, these are obviously my dresses <laughs> But the, we're in the closet here, and uh, this is where the safe door starts. Absolutely beautiful, and uh, honestly, it looks cool. Kayla really thinks it looks sweet, too. So you open that up, and it gets you into this room. Now, don't mind the mess, because everything is still being moved. We'll go over here to the organization part in a second, but let's first take a look. Actually, you're getting a really good behind the scenes of, of filming and everything, because I didn't move all that stuff. Um, but this is what you're looking at. I'll give you a better view here of this side of the room. So the goal is to have the exact style here, but it's gonna run down this entire wall. So you're gonna have three walls basically of displays throughout the entire room. So I'll have all this storage just like these are mounted directly down this wall. And then at some point I'll probably do like body armor and helmets and, and night vision. I don't know, I got an idea for this corner here because right now I don't have enough guns to fill both sides of this. So uh, eventually the goal is to have this whole room fill, but right now I do not. So uh, we'll try to make use of that, of that space a little bit better. So uh, these are whole display mounts. And originally what I wanted was 
uh, all the guns horizontal like the pistols because right here in this open spot, we're going to have a bunch of horizontal guns. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. So like the pistols are, I was going to do the same thing with all the rifles throughout the whole wall. But I was like, you know what? That is gonna be a really poor use of my space and I'm not gonna be able to actually put all the guns up there. So the display has these really cool mounts that you're able to set them just like this. So it's almost like an armory. So I'm able to come in here, see my guns, I can go in and, and grab whatever rifle I need and uh, use it for filming or whatever I'm doing at the time. So it's really cool and it's a really nice way to display them as well because I still think it looks really sharp. And then I've got all these handguns up here and on this one as well and then a uh, helmet up here. Uh, with a helmet mount. So they have a lot of different assortment of mounts that you can choose from. Now these ones, what's really cool, and this one is not locked in, so it might move a little bit, but the way these lock in is really simple. So this one isn't locked in as well. So you can just clip it in and move it just like this. So you can organize these really easily and it just clips in down like this. And then it comes with these little clips and then you just move it over and it locks in and then it keeps it right where it needs to be. So it won't move, you can set your guns on and then everything is secured where you want it. And then you can uh, rotate these if you want to, to make them angle even more, uh, whatever kind of style you want to make everything look the same. So I need to, uh, these all look really good, except now I just ruined this one. My OCD is driving me nuts on that now. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever had all of my firearms along with all my accessories in one room. So it's really nice to see everything I have and be able to uh, schedule, plan, organize, order new things of what I need based off of what I have in the room. So now, that you have an idea of that side of the room, which is probably the coolest part, obviously, because of all the projects and, and builds. Uh, let's go over to this side here. So this is where everything is organized. All this stuff up here is probably gonna be moved over to this corner here. So it's a little nook. Let me turn on the light, because I did separate lights for this, this area, because I thought it'd be cool. So, and it is, it's super cool. <laughs> I can turn all the lights off, I can demo them and make it look really neat. Um, but I'm gonna build a workbench here and have a little bit of a corner here. So this is going to be my uh, gunsmith area slash workspace. I'll be able to set my laptop up and do work I need to do it here quietly away from the family and be able to get all that stuff done uh, in this own area and be able to, to keep all my stuff in here so Caleb doesn't have to worry about my stuff out in the kitchen or anywhere else. I just have it in one spot. So uh, this still needs to be built. I've got a lot of plans for that. Um, but that will be a really nice workspace and all of this stuff, all my tools will be moved over to there. Then I've got a spot down here that has all the optics and some different accessories that are set out and I'm able to see what I have for new projects and builds. I haven't really organized all this stuff yet. This is a, a new sneak peek at a new build that I'm working on. Um, I, if you didn't see my story, I got the wrong uh, gas tube or gas block and uh, it was too big so I have to get a small one waited on that to come in and then of course I found paint and it made me think okay I gotta paint something so uh, of course why wouldn't I uh, I'm gonna paint that one so if you guys have any ideas let me know what I should paint that but so I'll be able to set up something similar to this on these next shelves here now this is something that I'm really excited about something I've wanted for a long time um, this is the kids tools they were helping me build this rack up here now what's really cool about this is i'm able to have all of my parts and accessories available but what's even cooler is it's all sorted which is so neat because i really like having organization uh so all my rail covers are down here so i know where everything is drew meyer design slate black rail covers uh, that's Daniel Defense. So I have everything in different spots. All my triggers are in here. So at Geisley SDCs, these are my favorite triggers for purpose-driven rifles. Uh, my MPCs, different triggers in there. These are all of my uh, iron sights and different parts of that. I got the new Magpul sights. Just got those in from Brownells. I needed to test those out and see what I think about them. Uh, I've got a drawer just for my flashlights and accessories uh, for different projects. So I know where everything is. So it'll open these drawers and see what do I have? What do I need? Uh, scope rings, uh, optic mounts. So it's really cool and something I've wanted for a really long time, but with the space that I had, it just wasn't something that was plausible or uh, possible for me to be able to do. So uh, definitely something I'm really excited about. I might organize this a little bit different. I might have to get a couple more, um, but really excited about the organization of this entire room. And that's really probably one of the most exciting things about this whole project. So that is the quick rundown and update of where we are at with the vault room. There are a couple other small things that are coming that I, I haven't shared yet, but I wanna wait until they are finished to show you. Uh, I think they're kinda neat. Uh, so stay tuned for those. If you guys wanna see updates, like I said, go ahead and subscribe and you can uh, follow along the, the project and seeing where things go. I would love to hear your guys' input. Uh, one thing I really wanna know is if you had a room 
dedicated all your stuff, what would you do? Because give me some ideas because uh, I've been really brainstorming a lot lately, especially now that I'm getting things put in here and I would love to hear some insight. Maybe there's something I haven't thought about. So if there's something specific that you're like, man, this is what I would do if I had a room like this or maybe, hey, you saw something and you're like, man, you really should change it up or do something a little bit different. It would be maximize uh, my space. As you could tell, the, the whole goal with this is to maximize and organize and I've said that a bunch of times but that is really uh, the main purpose of this whole area. So if there's something that you saw that you think could be improved or something that you would personally do, please let me know. I would love to uh, discuss it or maybe potentially add it to the room. Once again, a huge shout out and thank you to the sponsors of this project and to you all. I could not do this without you guys and I'm so excited to uh, share uh, the progression of all of this and continue to try to make good reviews and content for all of you. So uh, trying to get those 30 second breakdowns in and, and trying to get all that information as quick as possible and not waste time uh, for you to be able to uh, make better purchase decisions with your money. I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, the reinforcement of the room and the biggest concern and question is, well, what happens when somebody, somebody comes in and, and cuts through the drywall? Uh, well, I wouldn't build a room like this if it was uh, just drywall. There's, there's obviously reinforcement. That's why it's taking so long to get these, these walls put in because it takes a lot longer to actually drill through everything uh, to be able to secure these. But this room is fully secured and has security system uh, inside and out. So uh, no worries, no one's gonna come in here with a box cutter and cut through this room. Um, if, if you do plan on coming in here, uh, good luck. A couple companies that support me and the things I do here are Howitzer, Brownells, and Hold Up Display. I appreciate all of these companies. Howitzer is a clothing brand that donates 5% of proceeds and they collaborated with me and made these fantastic t-shirts, which I absolutely love. Uh, if you guys wanna support the channel, these are uh, my own t-shirts and uh, here's some pictures of me modeling for you as well. <laughs> But uh, it was really fun doing that. I actually did it with my brother, which was super cool. And I uh, had a lot of fun designing this with their team and uh, getting these out to you guys. So I would love to see you guys wearing these. It's so cool when uh, people share pictures with me of them wearing them. It uh, makes me happy. And that's uh, pretty cool to see that. Uh, Brown Isles is a company that supports me a ton. You can use code TA10 to save 10% on their website. And that is pretty much on everything. And it's, it's a huge help when you're building projects like this. You can save a good chunk of money to put towards your next project or make this project even cooler, uh, which is cool. And then hold up display, which obviously I've talked about this in this whole video and they're fantastic check them out as well uh, a couple of other ways to support me in the channel uh that's the first time i've ever done this backwards i always do it the other way around uh, <laughs> that's that's weird that's, that sounds weird trying to say it this way i'm so used to that like routine of that spiel i don't know why i did it differently this time um, maybe because I'm just excited about this room in this video. Uh, but the other ways to support me in the channel, there are some discount codes from companies that I trust that help you save some money. And there is a link, tr link to my link tree uh, that has links to like Palmetto State, Air Precision, Brownells. Anything you purchase using those links does help support the channel. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. This video uh, is fairly long now. I expected it to be a lot shorter, but I talk a lot sometimes. That's why I try to talk fast. A lot of people in the comments say, hey, you talk too quick, maybe breathe. Uh, my goal is to make these videos as quick and as efficient as possible. And if I talked really slow, uh, one, I would probably forget what I'm talking about because <laughs> that's not how I talk. And two, these videos would last 25 minutes and I don't want that. I try to keep them below 15 minutes if I can uh, because if you're like me, my attention span stops after 30 seconds. So. <laughs> That is why I do the 30 second breakdown uh, if anybody is still listening and watching the video because we're now at like 12 minutes by now. So uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time.